welcome back to my channel it's your girl coco styles and in today's video we're going to be talking about 10 fashion tips and shopping tips for tall women as you guys know i am six feet tall and this is i love fashion so i don't know if i ever told you guys but i do have an online boutique that i'm starting to really cater towards tall women um when i do buy clothes i do look for things that i can fit because i am tall not necessarily that they're made for tall women, but I buy things that I can fit. So I would say that they are made for 5'7 and probably up to like 6'2 maybe. So with that being said, I'm going to get started. But guys, I am looking at my laptop because I don't want to miss anything that I have for you guys that I did some research on. So number one would be nowhere to shop. Nowhere to shop because you don't want to waste your time going into a store and they do not carry tall. That is the most dreadful time and moment ever. So nowhere to shop. Um, ASOS and The Gap and Old Navy, uh, Ann Taylor, what else? J. Crew. all these stores, they carry tall. I do have a list of uh, places that you guys can shop at, so I am gonna link every single store in the description box for you guys and go from there. But nowhere to shop, that is number one key. So that means do your research, find out where you should be shopping, who caters to tall women, who caters to long trousers, who has who carries long jeans, um, who carries skirts that actually fit us, <laughs> okay? <laughs> because sometimes these stores, they carry skirts and stuff, but they're just either way too short for us. It just don't fit us properly. Le even if, like you wear leggings, if you wear leggings, you one of those people who wear leggings, the same thing goes for that. So that's number one, know where to shop and do your research on who carries your type of clothing. So that's number one, two, um, number one, two, number one, number two is how to shop for certain things for your body. Meaning pick things that accentuate your hips. If you are a hippie, things that cinch in your waist, things that make make your neckline look really pretty if you have nice arms you know <laughs> show that off guys <laughs> whatever is your best asset on your body i think you should just show it off in a tasteful way if you do like short skirts i i'm not a fan of them but if you do wear taller boots you know don't be out here looking like julia robertson pretty woman but you know have things that look really really nice on us i just do not like short skirts or mini skirts on myself so if it works for you then i would recommend you guys purchasing it so that is number two number three is stay away from small bags <laughs> and what i mean like small bags like the little Jack and Moose bag, I think that's what it's called. And those small um, Bottega Veneta bags, they're too sm the, the mini ones, they're not for us. They're just not for tall women. We need bigger bags. We have big hands, we have big feet. We just need bigger things on us. And I'm not saying you can't wear a clutch like to, to a party, like an evening party, but that's different. But on a regular basis, I just do not think that we should have tiny bags fitting into our large hands. So that's my number three, stay away from small bags, go for medium and large. I think those are perfect for us and we can carry them very, very well. So that's number three. Number four would be buying great accessories, nice earrings, nice belts, maybe ties, things that can tie around your waist to like give you a smaller waist, cinching your waist, things that will like I said, make your neckline look really, really good. Um, longer chains look really nice on us. I'm not a chain person. I am an earring and a bracelet person. I've always been like this since I was a child. So I'm trying to get away from a lot of my earrings that I have, but I do have a lot of like different styles of earrings. If you guys want to see my accessory uh, collection, let me know. Um, so that's number three. Buy things that are that buy accessories that will add to your your look you know especially for tall women if you wear a plain outfit maybe a maxi dress and you want to wear a belt around it find you a really nice thick belt i will say this uh what's the what, what's that place etsy 
Etsy has a lot of small shops that I do like and I like to support them. So there are a lot of brands on there, well, small business owners that sell like nice leather belts that are thick and that will last you. So you don't necessarily have to spend a thousand dollars on a wide belt. You can find something there that's really good quality. So number four would be if you are a taller person and you have broad shoulders, I have broad shoulders. I try to stay away from things that make them look even bigger, but I'm not gonna say that's what I do all the time because I just buy what I like. But this is just a quick tip. If you do have broader shoulders, I would say fill out, fill out the bottom of you, meaning a skirt that is probably uh, A-line skirt. I would also say that you can do cinching in your waist again. You know, um, those things like that, it really helps you look put together and it kind of adds a little shape to you like a figure eight guys, <laughs> but it does add a little bit to you. And I do recommend belts and stuff. I love them. Um, so I think that that's something that we should, you should keep in your arsenal of things, belts and earrings and ties and stuff that'll just add to your look. So that was number four. Number five would be, um, I would say stay away from like really, really bold prints. Like I wouldn't recommend wearing a vertical line striped dress. Um, and that is because I think it makes us look a little bit longer. Not saying that it's a problem if you want to look longer, but I don't recommend it. I rather horizontal. I think it's a little bit more clear. I like it better. So to each his own, but that's just a tip that I did notice that I didn't like vertical stripes on me, but I do like horizontal stripes on me. So that's number five. Number six would be wearing cardigans and things that drape over you. Um, those are really pretty. I think that if you do wear a fitted dress, maybe like a spaghetti strap type dress and it's really fitted, I think to keep the elegance going, just drape something over you. So if you did wear just like maybe a poncho or a capelet, those are great. Um, if you wanted to wear a long cardigan, you can belt that up too. Again, if you belt that up, it also cinches in your waist and it gives you a bit of a hike up to the elegance part and more of a higher end look. So you can spend your money on accessories, which I think is a great idea, um, which that can bring any outfit together. So that is number six. Number seven would be always try on your clothes, guys. If you are going to a store like, what is it, ASOS or Macy's or whatever, try on the clothes that you are purchasing. It's just so you don't have to go back to the store and take them back if they don't fit. If you are ordering anything online, I would recommend always buying two sizes. That way, if one doesn't fit, you guarantee that the other one will fit. So that is my tip number seven. Um, tip number eight, well, it's a shopping tip. So when you are shopping for like pants and stuff like that, and let me see, trout jeans and trousers and even skirts. For jeans, know your inseam and I think that is the most important thing you can take from this video is know your inseam in jeans. We cannot go into a regular store and say, hey, I'm gonna buy those jeans. It just does not work for us, no. But I will say this, I used to buy jeans from a company in Atlanta called PZI. And I used to buy jeans way, way back when I used to live in New York, but they closed down. So I kind of went into panic mode, like I'm never gonna be able to wear jeans again. But I ended up going to American Eagle. I went to Levi and they actually have long pants. Now, if you're not a jeans person, if you like trousers and stuff like that, same thing. Know the length of your pants that you need to purchase and go from there. It'll save you a world of trouble. I'm trying to tell you, you do not want to walk around here with high water pants. It's not cute. The men can do it with this new style, but I do not like it on women. <laughs> so that's number eight, buying dresses and jeans and like trousers. But for dresses, you know, even... You can tell that certain things just do not fit us properly. It could be like, I don't know, the breast area. It could be the way maybe they have like stitching for like under the breast. It just doesn't fit us like it's supposed to. So like I said, know your size, know your inseam size for your pants and your trousers, your jeans and your trousers, and you'll be golden. 
Okay. Number nine would be blazers, jackets, and tops. Okay. So like I said, most of us tall women are not the most shapeliest women out here. Now they're out there. I'm not saying that they're not, but most of us are on the slimmer side. Okay. So we don't have a lot of tushy and all that good stuff. So like I said, skater skirts would be good for us. So with that, when it comes to jackets, I would recommend getting jackets that have like a little bit of flair, a little bit of peplum on it. You know, they have jackets that have like little ruffles down here. It kind of just brings it out a little bit where it gives you a little bit of a shape. And those also cinch in your waist. So it makes it look like you do have more of a smaller waist than what you really have. So illusion guys, illusion. Um, so with that being said, just do some research, find out who has really nice jackets that cinch in. Like I said, I've seen people put belts over jackets, you know, just buy a really nice belt that can stretch that it doesn't look bulky on you. So that's another tip that I really like to use is throw on belts over a lot of stuff and it'll bring your outfit together and having you look like you just walked off of a runway ladies. Okay. And number 10 would be have fun shopping. Okay. Women love to shop, shop until you can't shop no more, but be smart when you're shopping. Don't just buy something because you like the way it looks. Everything is not meant for everybody. I don't care. People can get mad, but that is just the reality of it. Everything that they make is not for everybody. It's somebody can wear it, but it just might not be you. <laughs> so with that being said, those are my top 10 shopping tips and fashion tips for tall women, guys. You guys know I am six feet. So those are the things that I do when I go out shopping. And if you guys like videos like this, please comment below what you liked about the video. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And I will see you guys in the next one. And please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.